Hello. Well, we certainly had all portions of weather this weekend. We had hot sun, we had thunderstorms, we had a tornado hit down in um, Springfield Township in Burlington County. So I hope you all were safe and did get some time to enjoy all of it. Um, of course, the video would not be appropriate if I didn't start with vaccines. So uh, let me tell you about what we're seeing in um, our vac vaccinations as well as in our communities. Um, we are going to alter our vaccine hours. Again, we have taken the tents down in Mullica Hill and Vineland and moved to just the trailers. Um, you'll see on the screen the different hours that were open and we continue to modify them based upon where the demand is for our service. Our most success has been um, our outreach in the community and we'll continue to find opportunities. Again, if you have a, if you're an employer and you want us to come to your site, if you have a church or a school or some place where a large congregations of people meet and you think that there's an opportunity to encourage people who have not been vaccinated to be vaccinated by our team being there, please feel free to reach out to the number above and we will indeed um, accommodate you as best we can. Uh, the vaccinations are so, so important. And while they are not a cure, what we do know is they certainly assist in preventing the impact of the virus. Last week, 70%, 70 percent, seven zero percent of the transmitted virus in the state um, in the last seven days has been the new Delta variant. So we see it spreading. We see it spreading very, very quickly. At the end of the day, we know states are moving back to mask mandates for those that have not had a, a largely vaccinated population. And we will continue to work in our communities to serve people and provide the vaccines wherever we can. You know, um, often <laughs> uh, complaints are the things that get to my desk, not the, not the successes. But this week we had a real treat. Um, Jeff McMahon uh, called our patient relations department and left this voicemail. And his voicemail was so heartfelt that we actually reached out to him and asked if we could share it with you today. You know I love sharing these voice of the customer, the patients who see us. I think it's so much more impactful to tell you their stories. And that is something that we know from all the research that we have. Um, hearing somebody's voice that sounds like you and talks like you and most importantly lives in your community and has had positive experiences is something to, to help you reinforce uh, what we've been telling you about our partnership with you. So please take a minute and listen to Jeff. I wanted to say I was so, so impressed with the professionalism, the kindness, and how I felt comfortable in your facility. I, I just want to thank you so much and they should get big praise for everything they do and thank you very, very much for such a wonderful, wonderful experience. Thank you. So lastly, I'm going to take a, a moment of personal prerogative and wish my father, Russell Ballou, a happy 92nd birthday, which will be this week. We got to celebrate his birthday early on Sunday. Um, it was a great celebration, and obviously we have a lot to be thankful for, having successfully navigated COVID, and my father um, was able to just finish his cancer treatments, and so we are very pleased and proud um, that he continues to remain with us, continues to remain strong. So happy birthday, Daddy. Until we meet again, be well and stay safe.